hide your crack, because Ford is back. In an interview given shortly after returning from rehab, Rob Ford admitted that he has used every drug you can probably think of. He also announced the start of his re-election campaign for the job of Toronto mayor and introduced his campaign manager, Keith Richards. Arun Jaitley, a key confidant of India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, published a message celebrating World UFO Day on his Facebook page, which is one of the main forums in which he publishes official information. Putin and Kim Jong-un immediately liked the post and thanked Jaitley for remembering them in the comments. Former French President Nicolas Sarkozy was brought in for questioning about influence peddling. He called the accusations grotesque when former Italian Premier Silvio Berlusconi, who was under indictment for allegedly having sex with an underage girl, heard about Sarkozy. He said, what? On no those sex parties? What is the point of being a president? The militant group Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, or ISIS, declared itself a caliphate, or a new nation, and changed its name to just plain old Islamic State. Its first move was to put in a bid to host the 2024 World Cup, saying, It will be a great World Cup. All fouls will be punished by beheadings, and even better, no women will be allowed to watch. Norway announced the end of internet voting trials because they feared that it's not secure and could undermine the democratic process. Shortly after the announcement, Norway received a call from every dictator in the world congratulating them on choosing a voting system that never fails. The paper ballot. That was the world in color. See you all next week.